Truman was president, Reagan was an actor. The one-step camera, which produced a finished dry picture for the first time, was one of the year's top, top inventions. In the world of sports, the Cardinals finished off the Red Sox in a seven-game series. And in college, a young man by the name of Scalinas took over at Pepperdine. And all heck's broken loose since. Certainly, the greatest speaker, if one of the greatest, if not the greatest, motivator, speaker, entertainer that I've ever listened to, John Scalinas. Thanks, Ed. You got this hooked up? You got all set? Hey, uh... Thank you. Did you bring your pillows? <laughs> hey, listen, I, I appreciate Gary Adams over the years competing against that guy. Been great along with all the other ones. We had great competition. Listen, he left out one thing here. I want to get one something straight right off of the bat. I'm not down here in a three-day pass from Camarillo. I got a message for you young coaches, and you better listen to me. You better listen to me. All right, I'm an umpire, OK? But before that, again, I want to repeat, you're coaching the toughest game to coach. And I think you guys know it. And not only that, the toughest game to play. And that's why we're losing a lot of kids. That's why you got to be positive. Negative game, you got to be positive. But the most important of all, and you people know it, and I've said it before and I'm going to say it again, number one game that parallels everyday living. The big leagues have got to do a better job on promoting that. This is a game that prepares young people for everyday living. No question about it. How you handle fear, frustration, failure, embarrassment, the slump, loneliness, making adjustments, control. No other game compares to it. You got to get this point across, people. All right. Hey, I'm an umpire. I got news for you people. Hey, you coaches are all umpires. You know that? Your ball players are all umpires. Everybody's an umpire. You better get that thing straight, people. The difference between you coaches and your ball players, as far as umpiring, you coaches are the umpire in chief. You're the crew chief. You're in charge. You're in charge. And I'm telling you, people, hey, even the umpires involved in everyday living, I'm going to bring this point up. Three basic decisions of an umpire. Number one, is it a fair ball or is it a foul ball? Number two, is he safe or is he out of there? And number three, is it a ball or is it a strike? All right, now the umpire in everyday living, people. Now, let me get something straight here. You're going to talk to parents. You better get these parents squared away because, hey, parents are umpires. Parents are the umpire in chief. Anybody that's in charge is the umpire in chief, the crew chief. You got to get that point across to the parents. And you coaches, you coaches are working to develop good umpire and chiefs and these ball players hey listen they're the umpire and chief on the campus you guys know that hey they're the leaders for the rest of the students they got to do a good job they got a good job hey a lot of these students need a lot of help don't kid yourself you read the papers check the news of what's going on 
You ball, your ball players can help them. They're the umpire in chief on the campus. All right, hey, parallel that with everyday living. Is it fair or is it foul? The umpire in everyday living. Is it good or is it bad? Got to make that decision, and you guys are helping to make the right decision. Number two, hey, safe or is he out of there? In life, is it right or is it wrong? Right now, life, you got to show them. Some of these guys don't know the goalposts from third base. You're the guys that are going to show them. And number three, people, is it a ball or is it a strike? In everyday life, hey, important. Is it time to adjust or don't adjust? Dig in there and get the next one. The good umpire in baseball, how does he make his adjustments? Huh? Up and down. Doesn't widen the home plate. Stays at 17 inches. He makes his adjustments up and down. I got a guy six foot four, goes up, huh? Got a guy five foot four, brings it down. Hey, what about in everyday living? Hey, and baseball, baseball, number one game on adjustments. Don't let anybody kid you. You got to adjust in all the games, but baseball, Ho ho, you're adjusting consistently, people, and at the right time. Hey, you got some ball players, you're playing on the road, they're moaning and groaning, mounds too low, see I'm hitting out of a hole, they don't drag the infield right, bad background, sun's in my eyes, you know what you tell those guys? Hey, like the good book says, he sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Same for both sides, keep your mouth shut, make an adjustment if necessary, and get out there and play. That's true. Hey, adjustments, series of adjustments, people. Hey, you got a pitcher, got bad pitching habits. What do you do? You work with him, make adjustments, uh, become a better pitcher. Got a hitter. Bad hitting habits. You work with him. Make adjustments to become a better hitter. Fielder, the same thing. All right, now I'm going to ask you another one. What about this ball player? Huh? Good ball player. Bad living habits. What do you do? You go blind on that guy? Hey, like the good book says, when the blind lead the blind, both fall into the ditch. Now, hey, you young poet, let me, let me uh, demonstrate that, okay? I'm not going to demonstrate what he's talking about there in relation to baseball. About my lunch. <laughs> All right, now, I don't know if you can all see, I want to introduce the characters of this scenario, okay? You got lost Charlie Ross, right out of Bourbon Hills High School. Hey, had a couple of great years, outstanding ball player. He's lost. He doesn't want to sign. He wants to go to college. So he's scouting around where he wants to go. Lost Charlie Ross. Makes his big decision. He wants to go play for Blind Tommy Taylor, head coach at Tequila Tech. <laughs> now, hey, wait a minute now. Come on, I don't want to make a career out of it up here, but this is what happens. Hey, you got lost Charlie Ross at Tequila Tech, 
but blind. Hey, the table represents everyday living. All right. So he's leading him. You got the blind leading the blind. Hey, going the wrong way. And you know what happens? You know what happens? Metamorphosis sets in. They become Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> now, hey, you all know the story on Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Where did he fall? I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to show you. Are you ready for this one? Right down into Donkeyville with all the donkeys. Look at him. Hey, I want you to take a good look. Take a good look at him. Where's his head? In his jock? Ah, look at his head. Oh, man. You know why? Look at that. Check that expression, people. You know why? Business is good. He's down there in Donkeyville. Hey, he's looking up crazy, getting these, and he's getting them younger. You guys can do something about it. Okay? You guys can do something about it. Now, I'm going to kind of finish up in here. I want to give you a point of, guys, at, what is Donkeyville? Okay? What is Donkeyville? The best description I feel, okay, found in the good book, the last book. The last book is the book of the apocalypse, better known as the book of Revelation. Last chapter, you can read it. This is what it says. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. All right, what is he talking about there? I'm going to show you. i got to have some help. Get up here, Chuck. Where is he? Belk. You remember Chuck Belk? The fellowship on the... Uh, Christian Outreach International Baseball. Hey, got any ball players? Send them to Chuck. Ram used to be at Cal Poly. Did a great job. All right. Mike, where's Mike? Skalinski, Skalinas. Over Rio Hondo, help me. Hey, let's move this table. On this demonstration, this is important, people. Don't fall asleep on me now. And then I want to introduce Steve Osaki. My ex-hitting coach, where are you, Steve? Where is he? Move! <laughs> hey, you guys didn't really use that Japanese handshake, those infielders? You better have them make an adjustment. Okay, otherwise you're going to have a long year. All right, here, get a hold of this, Chuck. Steve, stretch it out. Everybody see this? All right, Mike represents you people. He runs, represents everybody. Okay, all right, over here. Okay, he's starting, he's a pilot. He's going from San Diego to Honolulu. See, Les Murakami and Joey, those guys do a great job over there. All right, Mike takes off. 
All right, he starts taking off. All right, what happened? Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Breaks down. He breaks down. Now, where's he going to go? Where are you going to go? He's going to go back to San Diego. Okay. Get things rigged up there now. He's taking off again. That's you people. He's a pilot. He's a pilot. Uh-oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now what's he going to do? Uh, going to go back to San Diego? Going to go to Honolulu. Midpoint. Point of what? No return, people. There's our problem today. That's what he's trying to say. He, he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. Hey, he that is a junkie, let him be a junkie still. This is our big problem today. You get him on the other side. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. That's your job. He that's got class, let him have class still. You've got to get that point across, people, because when they hit the point of no return, forget it. Forget it. Guy had me speak there at East LA. They're one of the high schools, one of the ex-ball players, talking to him. And he's telling me about this kid, 11th grader, he's trying to get off of drugs. He really wants to get off of drugs. He's telling me the story. He says, and he's shaking his head. His brain is burned out. Point of no return. You guys can do something about it through your ball players. Get those guys to set the example the rest of the campus. Let me tell you a quick story here, and I'm all wound up. Hey, after World War II, a few years after Washington High School, you guys from the LA City, I was at Pepperdine, the old campus in there in Southwest LA. They had a, a principal, Dr. Fisher, Dato's ex-ball player, one of the White brothers was a coach out there at Washington High School. He'll verify it. Dr. Fisher, the principal on the ball at Washington High. Jefferson High School on the east side was considered at that time the dirtiest high school in the L.A. city. So the umpires and chiefs in the L.A. city, they said, hey, let's send Dr. Fisher to Jefferson High School see what he can do. So they sent Dr. Fisher to Jefferson High School. First thing he did, had a meeting in the auditorium with all the athletes. And boy, he gave them a good talk about you're the leaders, do this, pick up this, pick up that, set an example, all the rest of the students. It wasn't too long afterward, Jefferson High School, one of the cleanest schools in the LA city. I'm telling you, people, hey, it can be done. You guys through your ball players. They're the leaders. Put them to work. All right, listen. Hey, the big thing is to be able to see. Hey, back in the 30s, I was playing in those D and C leagues. Every time I'd leave home, my parents would tell me, Yanni, Ophios Mazisu, Kematia Veka. Hey, now that Riscus and that Lagos, that Jaracos, they know what I'm talking about. Let me interpret that. God be with you and have ten eyes. If they were alive today, you know what they'd say? O theos mazisu kematia ikusi. God be with you and have twenty eyes. All right, let me leave you with three things, people. Hey, first of all, where in the world is my uh, third base coach? Where are you, Helen? 47 years. Great job. Good umpire in chief. <laughs> Let me leave you with three things, people. Hey, this organization, fan, the greatest organization of all, people. Great people. I've, I've appreciated over the years on the association with this organization. They really helped me, gee whiz, these guys that helped me get going, that Dale Reichel, Dutch, Biden, those guys, that RC and Riscus over there, Pomona, all these guys, all the ones. Hey, the guys that I competed against, class guys. 
Class, are you young coaches, take note. Take note on that. Let me leave you with three things. Number one, five most important words. Surround yourself with good people. Number one, being the almighty. Number two, four most important words, take care of yourself. Important. And number three, Otheos Mazisu, Kematya Ikusi. God be with you and have 20 eyes. Hey, wait a minute. Just a moment, please. Your ball players, this is what they got to do. You see it? They got to get that donkey's head in his jock. Not this, a problem. And they can do it. They can do it, people. Put them to work. Put them to work. Hey, we're all trying to win, but hey, Help those other students, they need help. They need help. Hey, I got a handout here, and you guys gives you the story on this, three decisions. Uh, Chuck and Steve and Mike, they got something over there. If you guys want to get this deal or refer to it, tell us the story. But hey, I appreciate it. God bless all you people. Hey, and keep them hustling. Thank you. Luncheon hey, begins that, at 12. Hey, the high school breakout will be right behind us. And the pitching session will be here this afternoon. Good. Oh, the dentist. Hey, God, are you still a dentist? Good God, Gary Allen. Here, take one of these deals. Huh? Hey, come say hi. Hey, Alan. Good to see you. Hey. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey. Good, thanks, Barry. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, take care of that Hilliard. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. I'll see you. Yeah, I'll try. Thank you. Hey, I'm all, uh, they got any over there? Hey, good. Here. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Right, very good. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Here. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Good. Good. Thank you. Good. Hey, Peppy G. Riz. Peppy Guy Kelly. See the wife? Uh, huh? How long are you staying here? You what? How long are you staying here? Till tomorrow. Okay, so. Well, see, is she, she going to be at this luncheon? Yeah. No, uh, not she time. won't be there. No, she's coming from my house. When? Five o'clock. Five o'clock? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll see you later. Where are you going to maybe here or where am I going to see you? She's coming yeah. here. She's coming here? All right. Are you here? No, I'm, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm over at the other uh, 504. I don't know if I'm going to be in there. 504. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, okay. I want to be one of the. Helen wants to see her too. Ciao. Okay, ciao. Ciao. Hey. Appreciate it. That's what it's all about. Right? Hey. <laughs> was, who was I talking about? You? Chuck. Yeah, Chuck. Yeah, Chuck. Chuck. Yeah, Chuck. That's right. Yeah. Hey, everything all right? Yeah, great. Terrific. Good deal. 
Uh, I appreciate it. Keep it doing. You're doing a great job on that field. Hey, Joey. You guys. Huh? Joey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't write, Joey, but thanks for taking good care of us. You and that list. Hey, Jack, where the hell you been? I saw your assistant. Huh? Everything all right? Uh, gee, my legs are in bad shape, Jack. Huh? Sneak this from you before we forget here. Okay. And I got your Humpty Dumpty yeah. in the bag.